You know, though, what, if, what you find fascinating about black holes, you know how you said they eat light. They don't, they don't actually pull the light in. They change the curvature of time space so light goes in on its own. Hmm. Oh, really so? That's interesting. Because, um, I've read that nothing actually can escape a black hole not even light so everything everything every single thing can get pulled in <laughs> like everything with a certain uh, amount of mass um weight and everything can get pulled in <laughs> But if they don't actually pull the light in, yes, it's like no one actually knows that much about the black hole because it's too deadly. To, uh, if you go close to it, you die. <laughs> there is a slight exception that some energy can escape a black hole. Oh, really? I would love to read that actually. Like, there's so much things, like energy forms that we also can't see, can't even feel or anything. There are so much things we don't know about that yet. <laughs> We're up for fighting again? Yeah. You saw a fascinating prospective idea of how to harvest energy using a black hole? I won't touch it for a million years. <laughs> but if someone would have actually be able to do that, they have to be close to it. You can also do the same with ra radio waves. Hmm. I have... Yeah, well... Space is a huge interest of yours? Of course, you're always in a spaceship and everything. I'm a huge science fiction fan, I watch Doctor Who and everything. Like, um... I'm very interested in a anything science fiction, really. Okay. Well, if they were thinking about doing that, they had to be close to uh, a black hole. And um, I know someone actually um, pinpointed a black hole um, and made it visible through the telescope. But it takes years to get there. Years. Before you actually can do something like that, you have to like be prepared to die for it as well. Deadly weapon? Yeah, I hope no one actually tr uh, is going to try that. Imagine someone actually going to travel there to the black hole trying to build a, a small civilization on uh, a planet or something and then just trying that out, coming back home with a deadly weapon. That will be so bad. Oh, 
I think if someone knew about uh, about idea, he won't be safe at all anymore. Well, you have to be close to it to actually um, fix it, you know, I suppose. <laughs> it's not uh, that easy. <laughs> but I imagine... Sorry. I, I imagine people have a good idea of what to do. Yes, like, um, one moment in Interstellar, I believe, there was also a planet that went way slower on the planet itself than outside, and years passed. I believe it was like 20 years that passed, or something. So, they stayed on that planet for like an hour or something. Yes, yes, yes. With all the 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 sea and stuff and someone landed first and got hit by a wave yes that will that will be terrible like i won't i will never be able to do that to know that just one second of curiosity what leads to all my loved ones to die no no thanks I would rather die of um, too much curiosity than that. Well, I would really love to see that movie again, actually. Yeah, they did. エンコの <laughs> they are fascinating indeed, yeah. They are fascinating and terrifying at the same time, actually. Because they're deadly weapons on their own, and it's nature. No one can actually do anything about it. No one. A few hundred, hundred years will not even fit it. It's a, a natural phenomenon. No one can touch it. Not in a million years. If people would actually touch it, then things will go terribly wrong. Like I said, some things are better left not known. Even though the curiosity would kill me, uh, no. No thanks. Before um, you will actually build an energy harvest around it, it will break apart piece by piece every time you will try to build it. And people would actually spend their time wasting on it when everyone around them would already die. Not, not if it's far enough out, still the time will go slower and people who are waiting to finish the project will die. Before you would actually try and fix it. Not in a few hundred years. Not in a thousand years. Yes. Well, like, um, I saw whatever happened with Nier. If you would actually send automated bots at it, maybe. But then yet... They will move very slowly. They will move so slowly that you will probably never see them move. And once they finish the project, you will already die and you will never know what happens.
Well, a black uh, hole is actually a, the vacuum of space, so if you just eventually leave it alone, they'll run out of it. You like the Dyson Sphere stuff? What is it like? Yes, but um, the further something is, um, the more time it will take to actually um, pull it in, you know? We will never be affected by a black hole uh, that's way farther than our star um, system thingy. Dyson Sphere is where you build a containment completely around the source like a star and half its energy are all around. Like we're talking about, okay? That's not gonna happen to a black hole, like in a million years, not. Yeah, well, no, not at all. I don't believe that's possible at all. I mean, like I said, it will take so long. And uh, if, if they finish it eventually, or they, they it breaks apart, no one will know, because everyone is dead. <laughs> Very interesting uh, talk, though. Won't be possible with, uh, with current technology and advancements, but in the future, maybe. Yeah, very, 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 very far future. Like, not even 100 years would fit it. Yes. But if it were possible, I will be so curious to what they're actually designing for it. What they're going to exist in thousands of years? I would want to see it. Yeah. Obviously, something will happen. People will actually try making civilizations on other planets and stuff that will be amazing mm. humans are dumb dumb enough to actually do that fighting yes that will happen they will make weapons that are strong enough to actually blow up one civilization after another one and eventually those civilizations won't exist, also the technology won't exist anymore. So as long as the technology still exists, then things will go wrong. Hmm. Well, I will not never be able to um, imagine the idea of what, what I will actually do to harvest energy and everything. But if anyone could do it on a black hole, that means it's... Yeah. Like... Rip Earth, I suppose. <laughs> you can't have a counter for that yet. Still, there's like nothing else that can counter it. But if they make a weapon uh, in the future that can actually do this, then I'm sure uh, they will make a counter for it as well. You're just talking about a huge civilization spanning possible, possibly even multiple galaxies. Then, um, for that idea, you need better spaceships, of course. Something that can travel about millions of or millions of light speeds. Yeah, well, whatever will happen in the future, like. Who knows what will happen? Oh, look at that. <laughs> hmm, you know what I want for a science fiction future? <laughs> well, what about pink spaceships? <laughs> Like a whole civilizations in space itself. Ring world? No, I haven't. Well, what about the Kyoto's?
Things are heating up in my game. Oh. Hi. Frederica Sama ga sejin sareta toki. Watashi o shite sarete ita rashii no desu ka. Doumo wasure rarete ita yo de. My goodness, all the science fiction stuff is mind blowing, and I love it. <clears throat> it's a bit of an extreme concept. A planetoid makes more sense, but basically, the precursors actually came from much closer to the center of the galaxy, and things so big they built a whole huge world to travel the stars. Oh! I do believe we've seen. Uh, a movie that was a bit like it. There was literally the moon itself that was a spaceship that was a, a means of traveling before. Yes, I believe I, I get what you what you're saying. Like an entire world, an entire Earth that's actually a spaceship. Mm. Yes, the ring around uh, the halo, the halo. I played halo before. It's um, where you're like actually fighting on a ring. That's yeah, I played it before. I can't say it's uh, like my thing at all, but um, yeah. I played it uh, together with my friends. Uh, blew up my own friends, drive over my own friends, yeah. <laughs> Hydrate! Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Another species in the book series came up with a somewhat more sensible method. They actually moved their star itself and put their planets in e an even orbit. Have you seen Doctor Who? Uh, there was a um, mechanism that caused planets to move a uh, location and they moved them all in one space. Kill the Abbey 10 minutes per minute, huh? I don't know. I don't know what you're on about. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, the one time you kept on falling. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You have, um, cast me out so many times. And I couldn't even do anything about it. Um, yeah, I haven't seen the last, the latest uh, Doctor Who episodes either. <laughs> Although you know how you were talking about the whole issue of eventually running out of energy. Uh, yes, when the stars actually uh, disappeared because the TARDIS was sucking out, out all the energy of all the stars. Uh, creating gaps and uh, those cracks actually sucked out all the energy. Yes, that was um, in the 11th of what the 11th Doctor. So, next story then. Different episodes. Well, the Doctor gave up his life for it eventually. So every star would uh, exist again. Sate, Benedict to the Nokara, Teddy Ordeo, Hen, Haichio Shirabero, to all sets cut the Kitaga. Hmm, where uh, time was of, um, Kazuma Sahodo. Oh, hold on, hold on. Where time was running out, and uh, me was actually sitting watching uh, the space die. That was at with the uh, twelfth doctor, wasn't it? Hmm. There were several times actually time was running out. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Mm -hmm. 
貯水庫の石を破壊して洪水を引き起こすだと。We will fight without any bad means. Teriolukoはタワーを突き止めた人造。魔力結晶を使えば石の破壊は可能でしょうキューエットの偵察によれば守りも薄い様子刺し物グスタドルフも予見していない証拠ですダメだあまりに被害が大きい勝てばいいというものではないぞベネディクトしかし負けは許されません私もロラン様と同意見です We have been fighting with good means, but still, let's keep on doing this. Hey, Nazo! Hi! Good morning! Go, it's going well today. Uh, some clothes actually arrived today. Like, uh, it's really cute. Like, you can't see it, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make a picture, I suppose. But it's, it's really adorable. This hoodie actually has cat ears. <laughs> it's adorable. So, yeah. I've been uh, trying out those clothes today. I am really happy. I've been looking forward to it so long. I should get Renfect if I still get it. No way! I, I can just go downstairs and hang baguettes, croissants, like uh, on my head and stuff. <laughs> that's not the problem. Two croissants, that's all I need. <laughs> yeah. All right. How was your day? How did your um, your thingy go yesterday? You you were fixing something, um, your computer or something, weren't you? Let me see. Yeah, you were upgrading. Hmm. How did that go? Ah, yes, yes, yes. I haven't been reading my own Discord because I was in another Discord yesterday, like uh, doing stuff. <laughs> That's amazing. How, how is it uh, going now, your computer? Hmm. We will choose for the best option possible. That means no violence, no unnecessary sacrifices. Hmm. Still installing on figuring stuff. Initial tests are positive, but you think you'll go ahead and upgrade your really old and low end uh, PCU, PCU? Oh, okay. Okay, awesome. <laughs> yes. That's not an option we are going to take. That's what we want to do. Yeah, 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 that's
Your gun is critically low? What does that mean? Mm, we have two paths to follow. We negotiate. I wonder though. It means you had very, very little money, now you have even less. Well, if you upgrade, that's usually what happens. <laughs> so, what part will we follow? Okay, I think I decided. <laughs> no, um, we're going to negotiate. Let's. I mean, I do like my battles, but this is the most peaceful way, and this is the best. As a ruler, you must actually think about how should I lose as least po uh, people as possible. <laughs> yes. I did. My goodness, hold on. What are you always doing, little one? Okay, sorry. Hey, Nea. Uh, hold on, well, just a second. <laughs> Cats, right? Unbelievable. Yeah, we're choosing uh, diplomacy. How, how are you doing, Nea? My uh, uh, Nami actually found a loophole again. She's back in my bed stuck. So I actually opened the drawer so she can get out. I don't know how she's getting there. I closed one hole and now she's found another one. Great. <laughs> she's um, very small so it makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna like um, see whatever I can do to prevent her to get stuck in the bed again. This is the third time. Yeah, cats are liquid. Like for real, this is the third time. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then she's scratching like, Mommy, help me. You're okay? Okay, good to hear. Yes. Did you get out? Yes. Okay. Yes. She got out again. She knows the way out. When I open the drawer, she's uh, instantly zooming away now. <laughs> Unbelievable. You already made up your mind, which is good. What about you? You as well? Okay, you, we are not gonna fight. <laughs> we have two less information for this. Indifference. That might be yes. Well, hmm. Right. No, we're not gonna do that. Negotiation. Yeah. All right. That's another one. Now you. Welcome. 
ですが若しかし若。That is the best option. I'm not all murder and stuff. This is the best option for everyone. Yes, let's go. Okay, I hope it actually chose the uh, right thing here. Deva, Tokyo, Hajimeo. Greenberg, Koto, the Council Tame, Dono Sako, Sorezor, and Sinne, or Tembin, you ask the credit. You went ahead and ordered a new PCU. You can only offer condolences to your wallet. Well, <laughs> as long as it filled up again soon. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Sadly, it will be a long time. Yeah, well. Well, fair enough. Of course you will. My decision stands. We will do just what I say, what I tell you to. Shinnen no tenbin yo. Ware ra no eranda michi o shimese. The correct answer is forty-two, indeed. Okay, that's the part that we're going to walk. We will negotiate. We will have a battle eventually if negotiations fail, but this is the way it go it's going. People will actually know, oh, this person will actually try to negotiate and think about its people first. So that's important. <laughs> Yes. So no people will get actually harmed in this battle. Yes. We have we have chosen the best option. ナサケがあだとなるかもしれない。だとしてもこの道を進みます。その覚悟があるなら、己の器を試すのもいいだ。では、私は急ぎ本国に戻る。カンセルドナと共に軍を率いて合流しよう。ありがとうございます。この戦
kwijt. Yep, let's do that. 